All right, now finally, after a long wait, Samsung has started rolling out One UI Watch 5 for the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 5 series. I've got both the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. As of now, I've got this update on Watch 5 Pro and apparently some parts of the world have already got the update for the Watch 4 series as well. Now on this update, all the features that you see on One UI Watch 5 on the Galaxy Watch 5 series will be available on the Watch 4 series as well. As you can see, the update size is huge here. It's 1767.64 MB size and the version number ends with BWH5. And it's a very interesting change log that we've got. There are loads of features to discuss in this video. I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's quickly dive in and see all the new features that we have got on One UI 5 Watch upgrade. Now the first important feature that you're gonna see on the application tray is Samsung Pay icon. Yes, now Samsung Pay is available on the Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 4 series. This was a much awaited feature on the Galaxy Watches. And finally, we have got this. As you can see, we have got this all new Pay icon. You can just tap on it to activate the Samsung Pay on your Galaxy Watch. Now, this may not be available in every country. This is region locked, so just be wary of that. Let me know which country you're living in and whether you have got the Samsung Pay or not on the One UI Watch 5. Drop a comment and let me know. Now, Samsung has improved the device care section. Now we have got battery and device care option by tapping on which you can see the battery, storage, and the memory option separately. And uh, you will be able to tap on that to fix if there is any problem to extend the battery life and to keep your watch running smoothly. That is just fantastic. Moving on. Now Samsung has made transferring the watch to a new phone very easy. If you have already connected the watch to another phone that you have, you can just go to the menu options on variable application, select the watch, it automatically gets connected. We don't have to factory reset the watch. We are not gonna lose any data or we are not gonna lose any watch faces. So now transferring the watch to another phone is very, very easy. Another incredible feature we have got is gesture controls. Now we have got something called universal gestures, which can be enabled inside accessibility settings under interaction and dexterity. This feature enables us to control the watch without even touching it. We can assign various actions to gestures such as shaking your wrist, making a fist or pinching your fingers to navigate and execute some functions on the watch. Now having more call controls on the watch itself is very, very useful and Samsung has added that with this all new update. We can now adjust the call volume, mute the sound and press buttons on the keypad all from the watch while you are on a call. That is really useful. Next interesting feature is taking pictures from the watch whenever the camera is open in flex mode or tent mode on your Galaxy Z Flip 5 or the Fold 5. So if you own these phones, if the flex mode is enabled, the moment you open the cameras on the flex mode, you will see a camera icon on the watch automatically. At the bottom of the watch, you can tap on the icon to quickly access camera controls on the watch itself. That is amazing. Moving on to the next useful feature. Now let's say whenever you're entering the text with Samsung keyboard on any application, we can just press and hold the home button to instantly switch to voice input. Let's say I'm typing something on the Samsung keyboard. I can just press and hold on the home button. You can see it instantly switches to the voice input and we can start talking to input the text. That makes a lot of sense. Now the next important feature Samsung has added on the Galaxy Watch 4, 5 and 6 is setting a pin or a pattern which has to be unlocked after a factory reset. If you set a pin or pattern on the watch, you will have to enter it to access the watch after you factory reset the watch. If at all your watch is being stolen and somebody factory resets the watch, the thief will have to enter the pin or pattern to access the watch or start using it. That's a very important security feature we have on Galaxy Watch now. Now let's look at some of the UX changes. On the all new One UI Watch 5, we will be able to create folders on the app tree. All we need to do is just press and hold on an app icon, drag it and drop it on another icon to create a folder. That is cool, isn't it? Now adding watch faces and tiles has become more intuitive compared to One UI Watch 4.5. Now, whenever we are changing the watch faces, we get to see this vertical layout, which accommodates more watch faces on this tiny watch screen. That becomes easier to pick the watch faces quickly. And this applies to tiles as well. Now, coming to the tiles, we have got some brand new tiles on One UI Watch 5. We can now check battery level of all the devices on a single tile called battery tile. We will be able to check the battery levels of the watch, phone, and Galaxy Buds. And we have also got a new Buds controller tile. We can now turn 360 audio on and off from the Buds controller tile itself, only if your Buds support 360 audio. We have got a brand new timer tile. We can now start the timers right from the tile itself without opening the timer application. And now we can have up to 20 timers running at the same time to help keep track of all the tasks. Now, 
Coming to the watch faces, Samsung did add some uh, brand new watch faces on uh, One UI Watch 5, which has already come on Watch 5 and Watch 4 series some time ago. So you don't have to really install it, but there is one watch face which enables us to set an album or story as the watch face instead of just one picture. Just set this up and tap on customize to add the pictures from the album. You can add multiple pictures to cycle between them in one album or story that you select. Every time you turn on the watch screen, you will be able to see different pictures from the album. That's an amazing watch face we have got this time on One UI Watch 5. Now coming to Samsung Health, there are some enhancements and new features. Samsung has redesigned the sleep coaching results, which makes it easier to understand how well you slept each night. And now we can check the habits and recommendations directly on the watch itself. We've got a brand new feature which enables the watch to automatically record cycling workouts. Samsung Health app can now detect the cycling on the watch whenever you start cycling. Now we do get heart rate guidance during running workouts. This also provides personalized heart rate zones. Another interesting feature Samsung has added is more accurate results for track runs. Samsung says if you start running on a regular 400 meter track, your watch recognizes which lane you're running in to give you more accurate results for laps and distances. Apart from these, we will also be able to create our own exercise. If you don't find your exercise in the list of options, you can now create your own custom exercise that measures your distance, speed, route, and more. That is perfect. Now, these are some amazing features which Samsung has added on One UI Watch 5. This was indeed an exciting update that we have got this time like the One UI 6.0 beta we have received on the Galaxy phones. Talking about One UI 6.0 beta, I have already made some amazing videos showcasing all those brand new interesting features we have got on the Galaxy phones. If you're interested in that video, go ahead, check them out on the channel. And when you do that, do subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. That's about it. If you have already received the update, do let me know which country you're living in and uh, which watch are you rocking. And let me know whether you received the update or not. And let me know which feature you like the most on One UI Watch 5. And if you have not received the update, be patient, you will be getting it very soon. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.